Okay, I'm going to do a few different self-defense moves. Obviously with self-defense the variables are tremendous. So the first one will be a, a simple takedown and a submission. The others will be quick strikes. So they're, they're quite different in the approach. So for the first one, if someone grabs you strongly here, if we're of a similar size and build, then uh, I, could, uh, I could certainly use my strength against his. But even if he's much stronger than me, grabbing this wrist, you don't have to reach over and do anything clever. You can just grab the wrist here. But the closer you are to having a bit of leverage, the better. Grab this. This one doesn't have to do anything clever either because you're going to just bend at the waist. Bend and take him down and get your knee involved anywhere you like along this arm. But in the, uh, in the corner of the shoulder is probably better. And of course, in a situation you'll be in danger, you can lean on that and that's probably going to hurt. Okay, so you're just going to submit the, the partner and control him. Let's say perhaps you expect someone to come and help you. So just going through that again, as he's here, no fancy turns or anything else, just grabbing here. You can even grab low if you want. Here, it's the body that does the work and then you're here. Be comfortable going down on your knee. What you don't want to do, sorry Alex, I'm going to do one again. What you don't want to do is bend over and leave your backside in the air. You come over the top, even if you slap him in the face, come over the top, go down onto that knee and submit your partner. That's the first one. If he comes in a little stronger and you don't have so much ability to turn, let's say with both hands, there's of course many things you can do, but personally I prefer to strike rather than to be wrestling someone because I'm, I'm not a massively built person. So a kick to the shin, either one, low, high, and then uh, he should probably let go. So varying your strikes by a long distance is very discombobulating to the opponent. So from here, of course if he gets in really close, make sure you're the one to headbutt first and not him. So that depends on height and everything else. But you know, headbutts, you're in danger of hurting yourself as well, unless unless it's so close you feel that happening. So hitting low, bomb hitting high, will take him down. When you hit with the elbow, this wrist position is quite important. Make sure your wrist is this way so your bicep is broad. That will give solidity to the elbow strike. This way it will bounce back a little bit. You need to hit hard twice and then clear yourself of the situation. Alex and I were both guys, so we'll bring uh, Yanti in. Um, She's uh, obviously much more petite and uh, you're, she's probably more likely to be grabbed by one arm than both arms. This is, this is a possibility of course, but let's say the grab is here, I'm going to be expecting to be dominant of this situation. She's going to react quickly and kick to the groin, crack, and then importantly just get out of there. So turning away this way is very awkward for me. If she were to make a mistake and um, and turn the other way. So let's say she strikes low, crack, and turns the other way, she's going to roll into me. And then, I mean, really, it might be over for her. So here's the grab, quick reaction, boom, and then quick turn away, and then she's gone. And before I have time to recover, it's already too late. She's, uh, she's gone into the crowd. Those are my uh, self-defense moves. Of course, there are many variations you can do off those, but uh, that's a very good start.